If you are in this red box right now, there is a threat of a tornado and we need you to be in your safe place. Still several signs of rotation and you see them showing up in green right along the Mississippi River. So this is now moving into the city of Memphis. These winds are coming so fast behind the storm that it's actually causing it to bulge out a little bit. Ice just builds right up on the power lines and even a quarter inch of ice can take those down. If you're in a car or a mobile home, Again, you have to stop driving. You've got to find a better shelter, but man, is it going to be cold? 28 is our overnight low temperature with those breezy winds continuing all night. I think we were all ready for spring. We kind of got teased a little bit yeah. and then nah. Those Grizzlies fans, they're going to show up no matter what. You know how they are. They're going to come out and cheer on the team. Memphis is known for its music, but most of us aren't used to the kind of rock and roll that shook the Mid-South Wednesday night. These panels turn through the day, right? That's exactly right. And right now, so, they're angled right into the sun. That's exactly right. On a day like today, we don't want any sunshine because sun just adds more energy for the storms later on today. We've got one person to thank for all the heat. That is the heat miser. He's here in full swing, but it actually makes the thunder in these storms sound louder. So you might wake up to some very loud rolling kind of thunder in the morning. I'm going to talk for two minutes, and as soon as we get a break, John's going to say, hey, what's the weather, weather going to be today? Exactly. <laughs> We've got several more hours of precipitation to go. A lot of that is going to be rain, but you see we've got some snow back here too. Sometimes these storms can produce winds that are much stronger. In fact, just as strong as a tornado. Right now, the Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. Good Thursday morning to you, 642, and it is a cool start to our day, especially compared to yesterday. Keep in mind, starting off yesterday, we were in the 60s and 70s before the storms came through. Now we're in the 40s, 46 degrees right now in Memphis, 43 in Covington. Good morning to you down in Marshall County, 46 in Holly Springs. 45 this morning in Corinth. So maybe an extra layer, especially if you're cool natured, you might need it at least for the first couple of hours of the day. Heavy rain now well off to our east Atlanta, central Georgia, down into the Florida panhandle. They're seeing all the storms that we saw yesterday, but uh, luckily it is moving out of our area, not before it left behind all that damage. Look at these storm reports from Detroit down to Memphis, Nashville, and New Orleans all seeing several reports of damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, even a couple of tornadoes down in central Mississippi. Again, even though we had a little damage here, luckily no injuries to report here in our area. As far as today goes, temperatures cooler behind that front, maybe a couple of sprinkles this evening. All in all, shouldn't be a big deal. Now tonight we're going to get colder with some frost possible before some sunshine returns for tomorrow. We will see a little bit of sunshine this morning, but we'll notice the clouds build back in by the afternoon and there's that chance of rain really between about 5 and 6 p.m. You could see a sprinkle or two again. I don't think it's a huge deal, but it might be just enough to make you have to wipe the windshield a couple of times on your evening commute tonight in Memphis 38 degrees outlying areas closer to freezing. So we do have that frost advisory in place for the entire mid south. This means if you've planted something, you need to either bring it inside or cover it up because that frost could be dangerous to those plants. Of course, for the latest forecast anytime through the day today, follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find us everywhere at ABC 24 Memphis. So cool today, 56 the high warmer tomorrow, but still on the cool side, 63 the weekend closer to 70, maybe a morning sprinkle Saturday, but all in all, I think the weekend is mostly going to turn out dry. Now next week's a different story. We're back to the 70s with uh, some spotty showers likely by Tuesday and Wednesday.